So before we get into the review, I do want to give y'all a quick update. So just recently, I was actually sponsored by Gundam Labs. And what Gundam Labs is, is an online and a physical store uh, based over in California that basically sponsors all kind of things Plamo. Uh, but they do also have things of like accessories as well as paints, which I think is completely great because I would love to have a shop that bolt sold paint as well as the Plamo I'm buying because I don't really remember too many stores that actually held both of them. So the fact that you can get the paint that you're looking for uh, to customize or do whatever it is that you need to to a certain model um, and basically get all, of, all that paint with the model is completely great. So definitely go ahead and browse that store and if you do find things that you're really looking for, I know for me in particular, I'm definitely going to be buying a lot of the P Bandai stuff because even though I am uh, here in Japan, it's still pretty hard to find P Bandai out on the streets. So I will be utilizing uh, this website to buy some P, uh, P Bandai for myself. Also, if you're looking for you know some cheaper routes and everything with this site, um, if you spend over a hundred dollars, you do get free shipping. So that's a plus. You know, maybe if your budget is only like a hundred dollars a month for you know all things Gundam or just Plamo in general, um, maybe just save up that uh, that cart. You know, add some things to the cart, and whenever you do uh, reach your kind of like you know limit to how much you can spend on that hundred dollars then go ahead and drop that uh that money right there but also if you want to save 10 percent of all your purchases definitely use the promo code krosama and you'll get 10 percent off all your purchases so i definitely encourage you to you know utilize both the promo code and maybe to you know utilize it uh the shipping to your advantage and maybe spend over 100 dollars to get that free shipping but if you're only looking for one kit i mean still the shipping is very great the flat sh uh, shipping fee i think is usually like around like five eight dollars uh so that's completely great it's also depending on where you live so definitely check out uh their website and if you can you know just drop out that uh promo code so that way you can save 10 percent off all your purchases so let's go ahead and move on to the review and take a look at the front box you do see that it is going to be translucent with that clear plastic so you can see what's actually going to be coming on the inside which is fantastic Sides basically telling you, hey, whenever they did have that actual game, that like MMO style game, uh, you can definitely connect to it, but you know, that game's long dead. And over here you just see a nice little standing pose. On the other side you do see her on a drum set and her wielding her guitar, so that's going to be so balla. I think I'm actually going to be very excited to go ahead and put her on that drum set. And the back shot is going to be once again her standing in a very menacing pose. Now with her out of box, you're going to get some layers of accessories. So we are going to have our hands full, guys. So with her in her base form, she is going to be fairly plain. No real kind of standout accessories. But the one thing we do have is going to be all these accessories right here that we are going to have to go over. So definitely prepare for that. So one of her shirts is going to be more of a high tank top. Then you can exchange it with this more punk rock kind of shirt. And next you can add her little punk rock skirt. And next you have these clear parts that go on top of the head. So you have these smaller ones that are on the back side and then these larger ones on the front. And I'm just kind of going to just take a shot in the dark that this is supposed to represent uh, the, the devil. That's kind of like what I was going for. You know, it has like the goat horns and everything. So that's the way I'm looking at it. It's like she's super like, you know, death metal and all that. But... Nonetheless, they look pretty cool. I just don't really know what the functionality of them are. And next we're going to have these little speakers, which they actually light up, believe it or not. But I'll kind of get in that a little bit later in the video on why they will not be lighting up in this video. And next we're going to have these guitar straps, which are going to just dangle right behind her on top of that you know giant <laughs> helmet of hers. And next to replace her normal legs, you're going to have some fashionable little punk model spike boots. So she does have two guitars, and this guitar, although they have no description and no instructions at all in this box, uh, it's very obvious that this guitar is pretty much a long distance weapon, but it can also be used to essentially play music. And for the second guitar, this is also going to have a bladed weapon, so you are going to be able to get that melee combat. However, there's really not a, a particular way to hold this and wield it as such a bladed weapon. Uh, so you are going to have a little issues, but maybe you can use the hand that's you know more uh, keen to holding the neck of the guitar to use it as uh, you know pretty much a melee weapon. So something I would like to mention is that she does have a hand that has a pick molded into it, and also a hand that can grip the neck of the guitar. Now with all of that out the way, you are going to have this giant mix mash of parts, and all of them are going to have like little pegs to where you can kind of, 
you know put them wherever you really feel so if you want to put this one like you know right there instead you could definitely do so um, I just mostly just kind of kept to whatever the box was kind of showing me uh, and just I gotta mention once again that this box in particular had no instructions I don't know if every box is like that uh, but this was supposedly a unopened box, so it's kind of weird that it did not come with any instructions because everything else was factory wrapped on the inside. Uh, but regardless, um, this little piece right here, now you are going to need LR44 batteries, three of them to be precise. Uh, but the one thing that I do not have is basically this little uh, like battery adapter. So they have one on each side and you connect these to the back side of these little panels and on the inside of here is LED lights so you are going to have uh, basically these like pulsating lights that will tunnel through this little clear piece and illuminate all the sides right here but you are going to need that adapter that runs from here to there so I'm going to have to go out there uh, this weekend and look for that so it's not going to be in this review but maybe I'll make a separate video or just post it on like Instagram or something for y'all. But going back to this giant mix mash of parts, uh, so I would just say look at this. I don't really have uh, basically any kind of really big means of instruction. Uh, so just take a look and if you do decide to purchase this, you can see exactly how this needs to be constructed. But let's just go ahead and pop this piece onto the back. And here's piece is just gonna connect to the back of the skirt. And voila, here she is with all the base, whatever the hell all those accessories are, essentially just giant drum sets of parts that are just attached to the back and I'm just guessing it gives her flight because uh, I seen her you know I seen some gameplay of her in a PSP game and she was floating around so I'm just assuming that you know this does give her flight and it's actually pretty cool like obviously it's, it's definitely parts of the drum set which we, we are about to get into um, but I think minus that it is a pretty cool looking attachment and although she is super super cluttered and just really complicated with parts all around her it is still very much um understanding that she is a punk rock star uh so we, when she has that guitar right in front of her and like just the boots and the hair and everything she is going to look sick so before we move on to the drum set i'm just going to show you all the parts and adapters that are going to be for the drum set and just other parts that are kind of for the uh the overall girl so you're going to have like a little attachment right there that could just Basically add as, as, add as an extension to her, that little giant pink piece, and you're going to have a giant clear pick, which I, I still don't know where that goes to, and then those little two clear pieces are going to be your um, actual you know, drumsticks, and then you got like the foot pedals and everything, so it's going to be pretty cool. Over here is just more adapters that you can use for the arms as well as the legs, but regardless, I um, just want to show you all this, and I'm not going to be able to really give you a, a proper guide on how to construct the drum set, because there's no instructions for me so I'm gonna do my best and just kind of like go over it with y'all so here she is in her drum mode so uh, god I could not figure this out to save my life um, you know once again I didn't have the instructions so I looked to the web I looked at the box art and yeah uh, I couldn't figure it out even with everything at my, at my resource I could not figure out how to get this drum mode working um, some people like you know had it constructed. I think it was really just one dude that had it constructed because he also had a YouTube video, um, but he didn't show how to actually put it together. And the way he had it constructed, it was pretty much like the picture. But I couldn't figure it out. Like I, I tried the exact same way he had it, but nothing worked. So um, I'm definitely at a loss for words. <laughs> um, it looks it looks pretty good. You know, it's just like the front little piece um, is something that. I can't get it into this like little slot, so this little hole right here, I can't get that part into there. Um, other than that though, it, it looks okay. The seat, I couldn't get that to stay, so she's just kind of like balancing on it right now. Um, but yeah, you're supposed to plug in the adapter from here to the front, and then this makes like all this illuminate. So um, maybe, maybe in the future, probably like in this weekend, I'll go ahead and purchase that and We'll try and make it uh, light up for you guys. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the drum mode. So with my final thoughts on this figure, I think Baby Raz is pretty damn good. Uh, the only problem is obviously I didn't you know, get instructions with my actual packaging. So if you do buy this kit, hopefully you come with uh, instructions because I couldn't even find any printed online anywhere. But if you do get it with the instructions, you're going to have a great time. If not... You know, honestly, it's it's actually still kind of fun just messing with it and 
just seeing what can go where and honestly making your own type of you know little mecha girl um, so yeah just do some little customizable things to her and you know you should be fine uh, honestly that was probably one of the most fun and frustrating parts about you know kind of putting this you know little kit together or figure together it is just like you know trying to figure out where everything goes but also being a little more creative but regardless I think this is such a superb little figure and you know this kind of makes me like reminds me of the Hatsune Miku stuff so if you really want something like this but you don't want a figure uh, that's this expensive which is pretty close to about 75 to 85 dollars online you can definitely get the Hatsune Miku, um, I think it's the Frames Musical Girl. Musical girl. Uh, you can buy her and you can actually find her at GundamLabs.com. Uh, so definitely check out the description, check you know, check over there, see if you can pick that up. And if that's something that you like, maybe check out some of the other Frame Arms Girls as well as the Megami device. But that's all from me guys, definitely appreciate you for watching. And like always, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll be seeing y'all in the next video. Bye bye.